Hi, my name is Sean Beasley and I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial about how to create templating buttons for your new phone ticket mask. OTRS has a standard example template which allows you to create a button like this within your telephone ticket in order to automatically populate fields within the telephone ticket. This aids your agents in creating tickets much more quickly. So how do we get from this standard telephone ticket to this ticket that I have with an example template within it. In order to do this we have to actually go into the uh, file system and edit the agent ticket phone .dtl. So let's open that file it's found in kernel output HTML standard agent ticket phone .dtl. If we go down a little bit on the page, we'll find here this uh, commenting section, which includes the basic code needed to create the button. And we can comment that back in by doing a string replace. And then we have to go down to the bottom of the DTL in order to actually turn on the form data. So once we've made these changes, we'll be able to save and we'll go into our form. We'll load the phone ticket mask again and we'll see this as an example template. When I click upon it, it will fill out the information from the subject as well as the text body. If I were to want to add a queue, for example, I can look at the source code for this and see that it's looking for the field name destination. But I actually want to look at the source code. And I'll search here for dest. And I'll see that the options that, they have that he's waiting for are not actually the name of the queue or just the queue ID, but here um, I have to take both the queue ID with this double pipe as well as the name junk. So I'll take this, I'll yank this line, I'll change the name to dest. And I'll insert my queue name here, 3 junk. When I reload the ticket mask and click example template, then I'll see that the queue is actually transmitted as well. So this is all good and fine, but what happens if we want to have uh, the exact same thing in the customer ticket mask? I'll go ahead and show you how to do that as well. So here I have the customer interface. If I click here, create your first ticket, then I'll see that I don't have a template button here. OTRS doesn't have a template example in the um, DTL for the customer, so we have to steal the example from the agent ticket phone and modify it slightly for the, um, for the customer usage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the top of the agent ticket phone. I'm going to mark this text and copy it. I'm going to open up kernel output HTML standard customer ticket message. And I'm going to insert this text which will give me my actual button. So now I've got my example template. When I click on it, it's not going to do anything because I don't have any form data. Going back over to my example in the agent ticket phone, I'm going to yank this form data out as well. I'm going to copy this form data. I'm going to go back to the bottom of my customer ticket message. I'm going to 
open the line and I'm going to paste that there as well. Now I'm going to write it. Now I'm going to reload my tickets, reload my example ticket, and when I click here, I'm going to get an error. So now this is the funny thing about the customer PL or the eight customer ticket message. He's awaiting a special um, directive called expand. We need to set expand to the value of one. So let's go back into our DTL. We're going to yank this line. We're going to take and set the value or set the name expand. We're going to put a value of one in here, and that's going to prevent him from actually writing the ticket. So the system tries to write the ticket as soon as it gets any type of data submitted, and this expand prevents the ticket from being submitted and just allows you to submit the form data to the actual customer ticket message. So now I'm going to go back to my tickets, create a new ticket, create example ticket, and the information will be filled in without actually being submitted. And now I can choose to submit the ticket, and then I'll have a new ticket with this information in it. So I hope this tutorial has helped you, and I've had fun doing it. Have a great time with OTRS.